I think that life here on this little farm where I live is the real genesis of the, of the book Hidden America. When I first moved here about oh, 15 years ago, you know, we knew nothing about farming. We really were strangers into a different culture, ultimately, even though you think you know. You know, you have this kind of romantic notion of how quaint it's all going to be. And of course, we got chickens, because you're supposed to have chickens on a farm. And then one of them laid an egg, and it was like, oh, that is so disgusting. Until you go, wait a second, yes, <laughs> eggs, chickens. And, and, you know, we had a lot of those little moments over and over and over again on that kind of really tiny, tiny little scale of realizing, okay, all the stuff in our lives really does come from somewhere. Picking the industries to focus on for Hidden America was um, more a process of elimination than it was a process of, of even brainstorming or gathering. The idea was to look at, you know, literally my daily life and all of our daily lives and to say, okay, what brought me this? You know, whether it's light, whether it's heat, whether it's fresh air, whether it's the airplane that took me from here to there, um, the food on the table, who are the people who pick our food? So the question always was that direct. The process in, in putting this book together, it was quite long um, and exhaustive. It was at least six years, I'd say. Every writer has a different process. Mine is I have no idea what I'm gonna write about until I get home and start thinking about it. I'm not looking for anything specific when I'm out there. I'm not looking for a quote or a, a point. I'm, I'm only when I come home am I looking at, okay, what's the sum total here? My theory is the good stuff always gurgles up. You don't have to worry about you're missing something. If you missed it, it probably didn't need to be there to begin with. So um, let's see what gurgles up first. Let's see what's this story about um, and who cares? Those are always my two questions. In the end, the book turned out to be a lot different from probably what my expectations would have been because my expectations, I'm, I'm sure, as much as I said they weren't, were quite romanticized. For coal mining, it's they get to make enough money so they can keep their farms. Um, things like that, that there were really serious reasons why people did what they did that, that wasn't uh, necessarily brought about by the industry itself. So understanding why people choose to do what they choose to do did open my eyes. The richness of that I could not have guessed ahead of time.